and we're here at the ID Tech Hack show. And hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Karen uh, from Prismate. Prismate stands for Printed Smart Devices. And we are working uh, in the field of printed electronics for quite some time. So you have a bunch of uh, printed smart devices right here? Yes, exactly. So, so what is going on here? Uh, what, uh, what we are doing is to print uh, electronic features into paper-based products uh, and make them more secure or at a very uh, easy way. So what is this, for example? That's, for example, is a, a, a regular paper card. So it's a standard paper with our feature inside. It's it, printed, it's fully special. printed. It's special. It's not just paper. Something it's, is inside. Yeah? yeah, there's a conductive feature inside. One conductive layer or a special pattern. Um, and this pattern allows us to unlock any digital content uh, with the help of the smartphone. But we are not using NFC and also not the camera. We are using the touchscreen of the smartphone. And by placing this card on a screen and swiping over it, it gives me access uh, to digital content. So whatever the customer wants to have. So um, did it um, somehow trigger a um, secret pattern capacitive pattern to the screen something yeah something like this so yeah? it, it, it I'm, I'm using the the capacity of my body to uh, interact with this because uh, the structure itself is completely passive without any battery and um, it, it it changes the input of my finger what I'm doing and this is what our software can detect but what is going on here it's what happened there there's uh, so inside there's an electronic structure but you do not see it. you do not see it it's uh, completely hidden on the inside of the pack is uh, it something the, like this it looks sim similar to this one yeah, so what exactly. is this can you show that's a uh, that's just a conductive pattern uh, inside so it could be uh, printed with foil printing like this or also with carbon based inks um, which we have some samples over here so this is uh, a pattern of yes. conduction yes exactly and uh, these, e each one is unique or no? Uh, not necessarily. It depends on the project. So uh, it doesn't have to be uh, unique. But for, for this kind of stuff, do you want to have, you want to have, you want it to be unique or no? Uh, for this? At the moment, we are not focusing on uh, unique uh, codes or unique identifiers for this kind of uh, stuff because uh, we are more like, uh, we, we, we sell it as a smart hologram. We say usually uh, people cannot really uh, see if the hologram is a real one, but now with this kind of technology, we help uh, our customers to verify a product or a, um, a label or a hang tag uh, by the help of their smartphones. So, uh, um, is it for secure login? For example. But how can you do secure login if every single card is the same? So it's it's not really log in to, to an uh, to a to an account or something. It's really like uh, saying that this is the authentic product. That ah. it's it's more about this. So when you have this, then you get access to some content. For example, Something yeah. Like so, so there, of course, there. Are, this is just a basic technology, and there are a lot of applications. So, one is really to secure documents or to secure products, um, to verify these kind of products, and of course, there's also strong uh, communication with the end consumer. So, maybe I can show you uh, yeah. the pharma so what pack. Is this? Uh, it has uh, some some other implications. So, especially in Asia, uh, there are a lot of. Um, a lot of uh, pharmaceuticals, fraud pharmaceuticals, counterfeited pharmaceuticals. What we do is to, to print an uh, electrically conductive pattern into this pack and just by placing it on the screen and swiping along the edge, it's verified as an original product. Um, nice. And um, if I have this, uh, I can also do some additional things. So if I swipe, for example, in the other direction, uh, it gives me more additional information. So, for example, I can read the side effects, or yeah. I can add, an, uh, add a reminder to my calendar, or whatever. Uh, as long as I have uh, the wow. patient uh, online, uh, I can wow. communicate many different other things. So, you can make like these, like uh, very many big quantities? Yes, so that's exactly where we focus on, really on mass products. Uh, it's printed on standard printing machines, so it's just like an additional additional ink, the additional conductive ink where we can recommend uh, which is suitable for the processes and it's really like really a complete queen technology. Um, it's, uh, it can be printed on recycling paper and the, also the ink can be recycled completely, it's, all, it's, it's also compostable. 
and um, that's that's really a difference where we think if you print, you print, on, print on mass products um, on what it, material you print on there are different possibilities but for example carbon based inks like we have here the black ones yeah can you show are, so what is this material here that, that's really carbon it's just carbon black ink on uh, paper on paper yeah so these are test elements and uh, this is this is completely compostable so it can can go uh, it doesn't doesn't have any electronic waste and uh, what's going on here is a similar demo or that's similar demo yeah that's more for uh, uh, it's different kind of interaction so we can have a look So this is more that I'll take uh, the pack, place it on the screen and swipe it over the screen. Like this, it's recognized. And now uh, I can, for example, get an additional small phone. So this is more for promotion and marketing. Uh, and so oh. yeah. That's cool. This could potentially be big for like uh, kids' games and stuff? Yes, that's, that's also a possibility. in a magazine or something? Uh, games, interactive features. Uh, so the user really interacts with the product. That's also something special. Also, it's really uh, like uh, high product intimacy. You could have it inside the playing cards? Yes. For yeah, like uh, yeah. all these games people yeah, play, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can imagine like having interactive games on uh, on an iPad, for example, or a tablet uh, for kids, or for educational stuff. So there's really a lot of uh, application possibilities for this basic technology. And um, just before here in this video, mm -hmm. um, so you have some different demos here yes. going on? Yes. This is the one you just showed? That's what I've shown. Uh, maybe you have seen the one with the driver's license. So what does that do? So that's uh, that's a sticker uh, which can be attached uh, to any driver's license card. And where um, is it? Here, you just see like a very uh, thin layer. So if I uh, yeah. maybe here, maybe you can see it here. At it the looks edge. like a design, right? It's, it's a design and it's overlapped. It's a an, uh, it's a conductive polymer, so almost transparent. Uh, it's. Uh, sticked on top uh, of the of the driver's license, and uh, any driver of a company car has to prove that he's still uh, having its driver's license at hand. And we just send a link uh, to the to the driver, and he can scan uh, with the help of the smartphone his driver's license wherever he is. So he doesn't have to go to uh, to the uh, to the carpool manager anymore to show uh, its driver's license. This becomes an alternative to uh, RFID and yes. NFC. Yes. Yes. It's an alternative. But at a much, uh, low, much lower cost and uh, at uh, really at a cleaner, it's a cleaner technology. We do not have any electronic And waste. just sticked on or just it can fully be sticked recycled? On. It could be label, it could be packs, it could be paper directly. So uh, there are a lot of different uh, possibilities. And this is a... a this is a label wall, for example, yeah. You can, it's a can digital you make them printing. In this quantity like this? Yes, like, of course. So we are yeah. really producing this uh, at a at a mass scale. So th actually, this is, this is a small roll. Yeah, that's the box. This is how the boxes are printed, uh, really on big machines, uh, on offset printing machines, and uh, so a lot of sheets. So how many <laughs> you print? So it, 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 it depends, of course. It depends, of course. But uh, it's like a thousand sheets is nothing. So it's like uh, that's that's uh, just a, a matter of minutes. Yeah. So, I, how big is your company? You have been doing this for a while? So we, or? Are, uh, we are a technology developing uh, company and focusing on, uh, on the technology itself. Uh, we are 12 people are, uh, in our office and uh, mainly developers. So print engineers and uh, software engineers uh, who are working on the uh, interaction of the printed features and the software detecting these features. And where are you based? Uh, we are based in Chemnitz, Germany. All right. So... Um, is this new, or yes, yes, so it's new. It's since patented. Uh, it's uh, since when is this? Uh, we we started with our company at 2016, and that's also uh, also the invention is going back to this time. 